40 years and I first got to know him. When he was a young man, I was a youth worker in his community. He was passionate about photography and filmmaking and I borrowed some uh, video equipment and we then discovered not only was he passionate about filmmaking, he was a very good filmmaker and uh, I got him involved in a project called Four Corner Films in Bethnal Green and he began to work as a filmmaker, he studied as a filmmaker, he went to the National Film and Television School which is one of the most prestigious in the world. He made a series of documentaries for BBC, for Channel 4, for other broadcasters. For over 8,000 years, the region of Bengal has been united by its language and its culture. Bengal has been ruled by many emperors, Buddhists, Hindus, and in the 13th century, Turkish and Mughal invaders, bringing with them the Islamic faith. The majority of Bangladeshis living in Britain today are Muslims, although there are also Hindu, Buddhist and Christian Bangladeshis. I love the East End, the East End markets like Petticoat Lane and, and Whitechapel, we're always in Whitechapel. <laughs> so not only was he a good filmmaker, but he then made his own feature film with some assistance from Channel 4 television. But basically it was his film, he wrote it, he directed it, and he very largely financed it. And it was about the Bangladeshi community in Britain. And it was a great critical success. It traveled to film festivals all around the world. It was regarded as a really seminal piece of work. Uh, it was astonishing to come from such a young director. So later on, some years later, he told me he was planning another project about a great figure from Bengal's history, Hassan Raja. So I was interested in this project for many reasons, but one of them was because the historical figure of Hassan Raja is a very important figure. This man lived around 150 years ago in Bengal, in what is now Bangladesh. He was a very wealthy landlord, a Muslim, a Zamindar, uh, and he was renowned for his greed and his brutality. His tenants were terrified of him, but he fell in love with a Hindu girl, a beautiful Hindu girl, and uh, that falling in love completely transformed him. He became a mystic, a Sufi, a poet, and his poetry was one of Rabindranath Tagore's great inspirations. Tagore came after him, of course. So he was a great man in Bengali history, but most of all, he was a man who believed in peace and harmony, and in a society where there had always been some tension between the Hindu community and the Muslim community, but now, the beginning of the 21st century, that is a very intense and troubling experience for Bangladesh. So to make a, make a film about this great man who believed passionately in bringing the communities together in, in harmony, 
using music and poetry and love seem to me not just a great story to tell, but a really important story to tell. Naseiti paya sen shab, shandhan shadhun korin nai kisu. Moneer korar e lagan, boneer korar pisu. Tumiyo moneer konar kata bolle abul hausen chacha. Moneer korar holo tai, nize na khe un nere khawai. নিজে জাগরণে দেখে অন্যে ঘুমায় And so we began to raise money to make the film and I should say that the first investor in that film was a very close friend of mine, Caroline Adams, who had been my fellow youth worker in, in and around Brick Lane. Caroline had worked with Rubul on several of his documentary films uh, and was passionate about Hassan Raja. She invested in it and then she fell very seriously ill and it was very clear that she was going to die. And one of the things she said to me was, I want you to be involved in that film too. I said, I already am, but for her memory, I was even more committed to it. And it's been a, a long, long journey. It's been 10 years in the making, this film. Why? Because Rule is a very passionate individual filmmaker. This is not the kind of project where you go to a studio or a financier and raise the money. We've made it bit by bit, section by section, as we've raised money from people who are passionate about the film. It's made without compromises. And because of his passion, he's brought together a fantastic cast of, of great actors. And one of the things that for me has been wonderful about this film is the music because like every great filmmaker Ruhul knows that the sound is almost as important as the picture and the music in this film is quite extraordinary and again he's brought together the talent of musicians from different traditions to produce something which is an extraordinary soundtrack <laughs> film that says a lot about him, it says a lot about the cultural tradition that he comes from. It's a film I'm very proud to be involved with and I'm sure it's going to be one which was, will be pleasing audiences, not just in Bangladesh and in India, but all around the world.